Have you relocated with your kids to Germany and now their German has skyrocketed through the roof and you feel like it's hard to keep up? If you are living in Germany with your kids who are going to kindergarten or school, it's so important for you to work on your German language skills so that you not only understand the teachers, but also you're able to follow what your kid is talking about when it comes home. One of my students, little one, is in kindergarten and basically came home every day with a new word or phrase that he had picked up. It had gotten to the point where it was frustrating for her because she just didn't understand what he was talking about. So she decided to do something about it and level up her German skills. So instead of feeling the sense of disconnect, why not turn learning German into a fun activity that you can do together? Being a polyglot and having been raised multilingual myself, I definitely have some tips on what to do and what not to do. It might seem obvious, but it's so important to make it fun and engaging for kids. The academic approach is not going to work very well. If anything, they're going to associate the language with something boring and exhausting. I know because that's how I learned Mandarin as a kid and it was absolutely no fun at all. So in this video, I'm going to share with you fun and interesting ways to learn German together with your child. And if you're excited for this video, then please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, Welcome, my name is Salome and I help expats who relocate to the German speaking countries learn the language completely from scratch all the way up to a solid intermediate level. So many of my students worry about not being able to hold up with their kids German language skills or would just simply like to be part of their learning journey. So how can you go about this? Let's dive in. The first thing that is going to be very important is to build it into your routine and set a time for it. It could be, for example, right after they come home from school or kindergarten, or maybe in the evening time when it's time to wind down. And this leads me to my first resource, which are audiobooks. They are a fantastic tool for learning German for both kids and adults for so many reasons. You're going to be able to improve your listening skills and pronunciation. It's also great to expand your vocabulary, but not in an overwhelming way, because after all, these are books for kids. Lily, for example, is a great children's book app that has thousands of audiobooks read by native speakers that also include pictures and the text, so you can read along as well if you like. Sometimes it does help to listen and have the words in front of you. They also have so many of the popular books like Oishi books or Disney books, like for example, Frozen, Finding Nemo, and even some of the classics from my childhood like Pedersen and Findus. What I absolutely love about this app is that you can adjust the recommendations based on your child's age and interests. So you don't need to do the searching, the searching is done for you. Plus, some of the audiobooks start at like five minutes, so if you need something short and easy, it's available too. It also offers a lot of bedtime stories, which are perfect for building it into your kid's nighttime routine. And obviously, since it's an app, you can read it from anywhere. Like, how cool is that that you'd be able to bring a bunch of books with you when you go on holidays and travel abroad? So there's literally no excuse to not read together. I do have a link for you guys where you can test out the app for 30 days completely for free. This is insane. So normally they only offer a seven day trial. And if you decide to continue with it, you get 50% off for two entire months. Now that's amazing. So I'll put the link in the description box below. If you don't want any screen time, Tony boxes are also a great way to listen to stories and songs in German. My goddaughter has one. She's now almost four years old and absolutely loves it. Another thing she absolutely loves are tip toy books. Not sure if you've seen these or have heard of these. Those are basically books for kids starting from the age of two and there are so many different kinds of books also for older kids and they come with a pen which you can use to click on certain images in the book and then 
then it's going to play an audio to you and explain whatever the image is about. There are a ton of different topics so you can pick not just storybooks but also educational books. It's a lot of fun and the kids pick things up like sponges. And you, you can learn a ton of new vocabulary not only through reading but also listening. It's amazing. Books in general are an awesome way to practicing German with your kid and it's a great pronunciation exercise as well if you read it out loud. You just need to make sure that your pronunciation is correct because you don't want your kid to pick up wrong pronunciation or even worse, make fun of you. I say that because one of my students mentioned to me that her kid would do that whenever she tried to speak in German. Also another reason why she decided to take learning German a lot more seriously. Kids are just sometimes, let's say, dead honest. So I know it's easier said than done to just pick up the correct pronunciation, but I have a ton of videos on this channel to help you with the different sounds in German that you can check out next. Just recently, I made a whole video on common sounds that are difficult for German learners. You can check that out as well. And if you want more help from me personally, I teach my students through my signature program, the German Fluency Academy, in which I also provide customized feedback on your pronunciation and speaking skills. The best way to get started with this is to join my free taster lesson where you'll get all of the information on how to join us. It's suitable for complete beginners and the link to register for free is in the description box below. Another great way to immerse yourself and your kid in the German language is through TV. There are so many good series and movies nowadays that you can easily access through Netflix or Disney Plus that have German and also German subtitles so that you can read along. I'm a big fan of Disney movies. In fact, that's how I learned English as a kid. The scripts and songs are still engraved in my mind. Now, if you do have access to German TV channels because you already live here or you have access through a VPN, Kika or Super RTL are one of the popular TV channels specifically for kids. And there are shows like Die Sendung mit der Maus, Olis Wilde Welt for the younger ones and then for the older ones starting from the age of six there are also a lot of educational shows like Wissen macht A or Erde an Zukunft. Some of these I've actually watched as a kid as well and I'm thrilled that they are still around. The channel Super RTL also has a kids program or platform called Togo or Togolino which also has an app version where you can stream kids series, movies, songs and play games for free. They have all of the popular ones in German like Paw Patrol, Kingdom Force, Spongebob and whatnot. However, here's a friendly reminder that you want to do this together as a family activity, so to speak. So you can, for example, ask your kid what the episode was about or have them explain certain words to you that come up while watching. That way you're getting them involved in your learning progress as well, which can be a lot of fun. Togolino also has a ton of games, which leads me to my next point, games. Obviously, you can also go the old school off screen way to play games. There are so many games to help you and your kid improve your German skills. The ones I'm going to share with you right now are completely for free. They need minimum equipment, if any, and you can do them from anywhere. So there is literally no excuse. So the first one you might know already is hangman or as we call it in German, Galgenmännchen. It's a lot of fun in German. Due to all of these noun compositions, you can make really, really long words. It gets ridiculous sometimes, but in a good and fun way. Another game that is called Wer bin ich or Who am I in English, where you need to ask a bunch of questions and figure out who the other player is. Like for example, a famous person or a cartoon character and the person who is being asked can only answer with ja or nein. So that's a great way to practice yes and no questions in German and learn a bunch of new adjectives to describe a person. This next game I used to play a lot with my younger students when I was still teaching kids, which is Ich packe meinen Koffer. I pack my suitcase. This is a great game to expand your vocabulary about things you need on a daily basis. So each player adds an item to a virtual suitcase or you can also play that with a virtual school or work bag starting with Ich packe meinen Koffer und nehme mit. And then you add an item. 
So the next player repeats the phrase again, names item one, two, and adds a third item. You continue this until someone forgets an item or makes a mistake. This not only helps you to expand your vocabulary in no time, but it's also a great workout for your memory. Another fun game is called Wortkette, and that's a great way to practice those long German noun compositions. Die Wortkette literally means word chain, and this game is all about being good with words. So one person starts by saying a word made up of two main words, then the other person has to make a new word using the last part of the previous word. So for example, Haustür, Türschloss, Schlossgarten, and so on. If someone can't think of a new combination, they lose the round and have to think of a new starting word. This game is also going to help you learn a ton of homonyms and polysemy words. If you don't know what I'm talking about, those are basically words with multiple meanings. Like for example, das Schloss, which can mean the lock in German, but it's also a castle. And this leads me to the next game, which is called Teekesselchen, which means teapot. This game is all about those homonyms and polysemy words. So ideally, you want to play this game with three people, but it also works with two. And the way it works is one person or two start with the riddle that gives a hint about the word. Like for example, mein Teekesselchen kann leuchten. And Teekesselchen is basically a placeholder for the word that is being looked for. Then the second player adds the next riddle that is associated with the second meaning of that word. So for example, mein Teekesselchen ist eine Frucht. My teapot is a fruit. Also, das Teekesselchen kann leuchten und ist auch eine Frucht. Hmm. Do you have a clue? Genau, es ist eine Birne. Die Birne is a pear, but it can also be a light bulb in German. Die Glühbirne. Another game is called Ich sehe was, was du nicht siehst. I used to play this a lot with my sister on long car rides. It's basically a game where you need to describe something that you see and the other person has to guess what it is. It really helps with learning new adjectives and it's also a lot of fun. Like for example, ich sehe was, was du nicht siehst und das ist schwarz und man kann damit Videos machen. Hast du eine Idee? Genau, es ist die Kamera. Honestly, there are so many more word games in German that require minimum equipment and are completely for free. I could go on and on with that list, but I think this should do it for now. Let me know in the comments which of these you're going to try with your child. I'm curious to know. Or if you have any other recommendations that you've been testing, let me know in the comments as well. So here you have it, fun and engaging ways to learn German together with your kid and hopefully prevents you from feeling left behind. As mentioned, I can help you become conversational in a matter of months. So if you want to know more about the German Fluency Academy, head to the link in the description box and join the free training for beginners. I would love to see you there. I'll be back next week with another lesson for you guys. Das ist alles für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!